Britain's finance minister can finally say his plan to boost the bread and butter of the UK's households is working. The economy grew by 0.6% in the three months to June, in line with market expectations and double the previous quarter. It will be a relief for George Osborne, whose tough austerity programme has been heavily criticised. We're also helping with the cost of living by taking people out of tax, increasing their tax-free allowance, freezing the council tax, doing everything we can as part of our economic plan. The growth is largely down to consumer spending and a rise in construction. But NAB's Tom Vosa says the next six months will paint a more accurate picture. Remember, real wages are still negative, so in real terms people are still losing money. Uh, that will constrain consumption growth, and we worry that the 0.6 is more a reflection of PPI refunds being spent. When that starts to run out, the underlying outlook for consumption is still very soft. But feathers in the Eurozone may be ruffled by the outlook. Britain's faring better than many of its European counterparts, and even Germany, which provided the latest attraction in London's Trafalgar Square. Britain's financial services are a key part of the sector that's helping boost growth, and sustaining that is now the challenge. That means making the UK more attractive to non-European investment. The UK might be about a year ahead of, of the Eurozone. The Eurozone now looks to be in the stage in which it's bumping along the bottom. I think Q2 will be slightly negative. It looks as if we could get positive growth in Q3. Britain continues to rely heavily on European markets. Around half its exports go there. And there's plenty of work to do. Its economy is still 3.3% smaller than before the financial crisis of 2008.